Kopf lässt, 23, das ist ein 23. Ähm, Sonntags, so ein oder zwei Kirchen, ich sehe da eine Fauke, die hier gesleit, dass ich etwas verkehrt aufgeschaut habe, ich anschaue, ich dann frage, verschrittlich um Verschwörung. Sometimes I can also make a mistake if I write something down wrong from the textbook, please forgive me. Okay, I'm only human. I hope that this is helping you. Ek hoop dat dit die lese help jou. En onthou, jy kan altyd weer terug gaan en die goed beer en keer gaan speel, so die kan seker maak jy sy reg. Goed, as ek nou kyk na my vergelijkings wat ek moet gaan oplos, my beginsel is ek wil vir M alleen kry. I want to get M alone. So I have to get rid of the 3 over 5 and I've got to get rid of the plus 1. Wat gaan ek eerste weg kry? Die plus 1 is die verste van hom af. Ek gaan eerste en minus met 1 en minus met 1. Ja, dan krijg ik 3 op 5 m gelijk aan minus 12. This is my technique that I love to teach grade 8 because then they know what I do on the left, I do on the right. Maar jouw alternatieve technieken is, en mensen gaan nou nie elke een van hulle so doen nie, dat jy kan sê, maar goed, kom ons vat net die een oor, dan word hy moos nou minus 1. That technique of taking it across is fine. But you don't understand the meaning of that. Because then you want to take this 3 over 5 also across and make it minus 3 over 5. That's where my problem with this technique comes from. So, as you die plus 1 weggekijkt, jy het een min 1, dan is het moest nou 0. Dan kan jy sê, hy is gemaal met 3 op 5. So the opposite of times with 3 over 5 will be times by 5 over 3. Or divide by 3 over 5. Divide by 3 over 5. Maar het is baie moeilijk om te deel die 3 op 5 as net een maal met 5 op 3. Maar deel die 5, ach goed, deel die 3 op 5 en maal met 5 op 3 is die selde ding. Remember, division by the reciprocal is the same as multiplication. So instead of timing by 5 over 3, dividing by 3 over 5, the reciprocal is the same thing. And down is my do. Remember your mission. To get rid of that um, 3 over 5 and your mission is accomplished and then you just need to go and do the calculation. However, plus times a minus is a minus calculator. 3 goes into 12 4 times and 4 more 5 gee van my 20. Selfde ding gaan hier gebeur. Jy sit nog steeds by 3 op 5 m gelijk aan minus 12. Jy gaan nog steeds moet sê maal met 5 op 3, maal met 5 op 3 of deel die 3 op 5 selfde ding. I have no problem with you saying if I take that across and it becomes a minus, it's perfect. I just don't want you to then do this and say, okay, well, to get that across, it becomes minus 3 over 5. That is wrong. That's why I say opposite operation. If it's plus, minus both sides. If it's times, times by the reciprocal on both sides. If it's division, times. If it's minus, plus, etc. Raak, dat jy daar beginsel in jou kop kan kry, maar jy mag die ander techniek gebruik. So lang jy nie fout te maak nie. Okay, to get rid of the, which, which one's first? X is die ding wat ek soek. That's what I want. What do I have to get rid of? Rid of. So that, that, that. Three of them. Dat is drie goed wat jy moet wegkry. En wat gaan jy eerste moet wegkry? Eerst die deel. Dan die plus. Dan die maal. So is teenoorgesteld as wat jy die som sou doen. As jy moest X vat en ons maal, dan plus, dan deel. Dan vat jy dit weg in teenoorgestelde volgorde. In plaas van maal, dan plus, dan deel. Eerst die deel, dan die plus, dan die maal. When you take away operations from the x, it's the opposite of what you would have done if it was substitution. I said to you, take x 5 and time, then plus, then divide. That's the order of operations. First time, then plus, then divide. When you take it away, you do the opposite. First this, then second that, then third, that this die beginsel. So om van die 0,1 ontslaar te raak, gaan jy sê maal met 0,1 op 1 as jy wil, and the same on the other side, so that you're left with 0,2x plus 1 equals, because now that's cancelled out, mission accomplished, jy wil die 0,1 weg het, jy wil weg te maal. As jy gaan maal, kry jy sakrekenaars asjeblief. Goed, en nou gaan jy weg kry wat eerste, die plus 1 geer te minus 1, if you want to say minus 1 comes to the other side, it's fine. I like to do it this way because of very good reasons for seeing kids in grade 10, 11, 12 that do this. Take across the 0, 0,2 and it becomes a minus 0, 0,2. No, you can't because it's times. Okay. The look at the plus is min and then you answer from 0,2x gelijk aan 
0, ach, ja, 0, minus 0,6, minus 0,6. 0,4 minus with 1, please use a calculator. En dan om vir x alleen te kry, moet jy deel die 0,2, deel die 0,2, en dan gaan jou antwoord moest nou 1 wees, want daar het uitgekanseleer, is gelijk aan, please keep the equal signs underneath each other, and if you divide that, you get an answer of minus 3. Without the calculator, how would you do that? If you times by 10 and times by 10, it's 6 over 2. Same thing as 0, 0,6 over 0, 0,2. And if min gedeelde de plus is a min. Maar gebruik as a brief jou saakrekenaar. Can you always test yourself? Can you terug gaan en vir x vervang met a minus 3 en sê, minus 3 mal dit plus dit gedeelde dit. En kyk of die antwoord 4 is. If you substitute it back in a time plus and divide, your answer should be 4. Then you know that your answer was right. This is the x that I must place in there to make it true. Graag. Goed. Los op vir x. Maar as 2x het jou vrou, so get the x's to one side. If there is more than one x, get the x's to one side and the stuff without the x's to the other side. X het een kant, ander goed ander kant toe. Same thing there. I want that x on the left and I want the 15 to the other side. Nou is dit nou nou moeilijk vir jou, want daar nou jy vir het nou baie lang gepraat al oor, Hoe kom ek vir kies sekere goeders? Maar hier is een baie goeie voorbeeld van, dit is baie nice om te sê, maar daar word min 7x aan hierdie kant van die isgelijk kan teken, en dan die 8 word een minus 8 aan die ander kant van die isgelijk kan teken. This is a good example where that technique really helps you. I'm not saying it's wrong whatsoever, I'm just saying kids get confused. So if that 7x is a minus 7x on this side, and that is a minus on that side, it's perfect. How did you get there? When they say minus 7x, minus 7x. Then it appears here and disappears there. The 8, you say minus 8 and it's gone. Minus 8 to that side. You see that there's only minus 8 left there? It looks like a lot of writing, but I want you to get the principle right. Of you have no schrijf of nie, dat jy die beginsel sal raag hee. Dan tel ek by mekaar en kry 8x is gelijk aan minus 8, because I'm adding like terms. The coefficients I add, so it's 15 minus 7 is 8x. En om vir x alleen te kry, gaan ek sê deel deur 8, deel deur 8. Opposite of timing is division, divided by. So x equals plus divided by minus is a minus, 8 divided by 8 is 1. And it's now here, but some people will say, oh, but take the 8 across and it becomes a minus 8. That's all I'm careful of. Okay, so as long as you know your principles, you can't go wrong. So for hierdie ene keer weer eens, as ek hom hierdie kant toe wil vat, en hom daai kant toe wil vat, wat gaan gaan die sommekie word? You could have added this, these two already, if you wanted to. Dan word daai moest nou minus 10x aan die linkerkant, en minus 15 aan die rechterkant. If it was a minus there, it would come a plus over here. I've got three like terms, so it's 3 plus 2 is 5, minus 10 is geef my minus 5x, en die minus 5 aan die ander, 15 aan die ander kant, is gelijk ons onder mekaar, equal signs underneath each other, now the 5 goes across and becomes a plus. You see, I want you to listen carefully how, how you can um, get confused. As a belief nie, die min 5 word a plus 5 nie. Hy is gemaal, dan moet ek deel dier min 5, deel dier min 5. As jy hierdie woorde kan hoorspeel in jou verstand oor en oor en oor, gaan jy nie foute maak met vergelijkings. Dit is van die meest belangrike werk in wiskunde. If you can get that recipe down, knowing that if it's times, you do division. If it's multiplication, you do division, you do multiplication, adding, subtracting. As jy daar in jou kop kan hee, kan nie fout maak hee. Equations is extremely important for mathematics. You've got to get this principle down. So, daar gaan dan die x aan die 1 wees, want min 5 gedeelde min 5 is 1, is gelijk aan een plus gedeelde, of min gedeelde min is een plus, 15 gedeelde 5 is, and you can always go and test your answer. Goed, jou laaste drie vraag is. 3.3, solve for x. Get the x's to one side, numbers to the other side. And it doesn't matter if you want to take it to the right hand side. As jy jou x's eerder in die rechterkant wil hee, en die getal aan die linkerkant is fine. But just don't take everything to the left, and everything to the right. Or the x is to one side. It doesn't matter if it's the right or the left. As jy nou so wou, daai x hierdie kant gaan sit. Kom ons hou die 3x aan daai kant, dan word hierdie plus x dan nou, ach, min x dan nou a plus x. Hoekom? Want ek sê plus x hier, baggers hy plus x daar. 
en hier die 17 hou ek hier die kant en dan word daar min 11 a plus 11. So I'm trying to show you that you most probably put it on the left hand and you got minus 4x where I'm going to get plus 4x. 3 plus 1 is 4x en tel by mekaar gee 28. So if you had minus 4x equal to minus 28 and divide by minus 4, you're still going to get x is equal to. Now, later on in your life, you're going to do it in your head and say, divide by 4 is x, divide by 4 is 7, and finish. For now, I want you to keep to the principle of showing what you do on the left, you do on the right. x is equal to 7, and the answer would still be x is equal to 7. It doesn't matter. Your methods may be a little bit different from mine, but our answers have to be the same, otherwise you did it wrong. Okay, and sorry if I ever make a mistake, just please forgive me. Okay. Just make sure with your teacher what the answer must be. Raag, hier sit nou a hengse antwoord. Blijf ons almost as bad as this one, but there's enormously lots of things. But you have to solve for A, but there's a lot of them. Kry al die a's by mekaar, kry al die getalle by mekaar. But I think it would have been a good idea first to add the like terms on the left hand side and say, 7 minus 4 gives me 3A. Minus 9 gives me minus 3a. In the 8 in the min 2 gee for my plus 6, gelijk aan. It's your option. You don't have to do it, but you can. You can take all the a's to one side first and get all of them here and all the numbers here. What I'm trying to show you is methods can vary and there is a method to the madness. If you want to add them first, it's going to make your sum a little bit better. Self dan die kant. Tel eerst die a getalle by mekaar. So jy het 6a min 2a is 4a. Min 5a is minus 1a. 6 minus 2 is 4. Minus 5 is minus 1a. And then you got 20 and 16 is 36. Now, now that I've done that, not the only option. You could have taken all the a's one side, all the numbers the other side. Now I'm going to say, okay, well, let's now get the a's together. Now that rule that you want to say, take it to this side, it becomes a plus, and take this to that side, it becomes a minus 6. That can come into play now. So you've got minus 3a staying here, and you've got 36 staying there, but then this minus a becomes a plus a, and the plus 6 becomes a minus 6. Now it doesn't matter if you say minus 6 plus, or 36 minus 6, it doesn't matter. Here kan ons maar bykie opgemix het. Die a kan voorgestaan het. But then you add the coefficients. And you can never have something like that. Okay? Jy kort a plus dot dissonant. So I have minus 3 and plus 1 is two, minus 2a. Minus 3 and plus 1. And there I've got 30. As you optel. It's not a plus times a minus. It's not times. That, that. And then as ek vir a alleen wil kry, moet ek deel weer min 2. Divide by minus 2. So that your answer would be a equals negative 15. Plus gedeelde min is een min, daar gedeelde 2 is 15, en dan die laaste vraag hier, selfde as ek nou gedoen het, dit kan mos nou, 1, 2, 3, 4, al 4 die p's eers aan die een kant skryf, en dan 1, 2, oh, wat was die laaste ding daar gewees, weet ek, wat sê hy daar, 10, I lost that one then, must be a 10, ok, that's where the, sometimes there comes a mistake, so I add, the 8p and the minus 15p is minus 7p. Tel by mekaar geen minus 2. Aan die ander kant van S gelijk aan teken, tel by mekaar is 44p. Tel by mekaar is plus 1. So you add the like terms, minus 9 and 10, 20 and 24p is 44p. Now let's get them all to one side. It doesn't matter which side. I'm going to decide to put the p on that side. When I take it across, it becomes a plus 7p. Keep the minus 2 here and take the 1 across, it becomes a minus 1. So that you have 51p and minus 3. So that when I divide it, it's going to be minus 3 divided by 51. Careful. Not 51 divided by 3. Not the largest one divided by the smallest one. To get rid of that 51, you better say divide by 51. Divide by 51. Very often kids think, well, the largest one's going to be at the top. Nee, nee, nee. Jy moet sê, 51 moet gedeel word, so hy moet hier ook gedeel word. 8, 3 op 51, en daar kan beter geskryf word as, is it 
dat ik naar mezelf nog niet meer in mijn kar maak nie. Um, 51 divided by 3 is 17. So the answer is, sorry, minus 1 over 17 equals B. But if you took it on the calculator and write negative 3 over 51, it will make it negative 1 over 17. Omdat daar minus kan boe, onder of voor staan, dit maak nie saaf nie. That minus can be at the front, top or bottom, it doesn't matter. What I'm going to give you today is some more equations to go and practice. Remember that you're writing test on the 1st of June, the Monday morning. 8 o'clock, we're going to send you the test. You're going to write it on paper. And then you're going to take your paper where you've written, written, written. Take a photo with an app, please, if you can. If you can't, then you just take the photo with your normal WhatsApp. It's not going to look so nice when we have to copy it and put it in your files. But we'll, do, we'll make do with whatever we can. As it nou nie wil werk nie, dan werk het nou nie, dan bestuur jy net vir ons een foto. 8 uur. En ek het vir die oefeninge gegee, so gaan kyk na die oefeninge, kyk weer die oefeninge. Dit is een oorboektoets, it's an open book test, so you can um, use your book to go and check all the stuff that I've told you. Goed, so leer hard vir die toets, asjeblief mense hoor. Good, that was your huiswerk sommetjes, this is your homework. You'll see that we come back to the same thing over and over again. In another theme, it'll come again, the, exp uh, the um, equations. You know, we've a paar keer vergelijkings gedoen. Elke keer kom ons terug daarna toe, ons het ons so stikkie by. Just another little thing is added every time we come back to it. So important, equations and the method behind it. Please practice it hard.